Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Technology. So in today's videos, we are going to cover the topics of OWASP top 10. So these are the top 10 vulnerabilities that got uh, like uh, surveyed uh, in 2021. Okay. So basically OWASP is the open web application security project so they conduct a survey for every couple of years like uh, three to four years they conduct a survey and based on that survey uh, so on different web application they conduct this survey so i think the next uh, uh, os top 10 will be released in 2025 so these are the top 10 vulnerabilities uh, which are listed in 2021 so which have been observed in many of the applications when uh, during the survey of 2021 so like uh, these are the uh, total 10 uh, vulnerabilities that we are going to cover today so let's uh, move to the first vulnerability so that is broken access control okay so broken access control broken access control so what it does it allows the attacker to bypass the authorization enabling them to view sensitive data or perform unauthorized task so basically uh, it what does it do it allows the user whoever the it may be the attacker or it may be the normal user so if he's trying to bypass the authorization so and he's able to do that successfully that means the application is vulnerable to the broken access control vulnerability so this uh, like uh, for an example let's take uh, instagram as an example so a regular user modifies a photo id okay in a url to access another user's private photos bypassing restrictions let's say uh, let us take a, 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 like uh, an example like this like https okay let me take a, a ball pen so like this https uh, like uh, so i am taking like bank uh, website now icici bank dot com uh, account something let's take one two three four five let us assume this is the url so what happened uh, if an attacker tries to modify or the user tries to modify this uh, account number to some other account number which he want to view the details so if he able to view the details successfully by modifying the parameter url parameter so then it is vulnerable to the broken access control okay so that is known as broken access control so what he is doing is able to view the sensitive information by bypassing the authorization so that is known as the broken access control then coming to the uh, like uh, this is another example which i have taken like a customer changes their account number in a request to view another customer account details so this is a this is the same thing which i have explained so what are the consequences of the broken access control vulnerability so as we see it is unauthorized access to uh, like uh, sensitive data account takeovers like we try to uh, manipulate the account uh, number and we try to take over the account details or manipulation or deletion of the resources okay so not only through url parameters by also some other parameters we can do like manipulating or deleting the resources which are present in the database so that all are the consequences of the uh, like uh, we can say access related issues also we can uh, find in the broken access control so basically the mitigations are mitigations or you can say solutions for this or precautions you can say like enforcing the least privilege principle so what is least privilege so basically least privilege is nothing but like uh, giving an access to the user at 
what uh, at the uh, what privilege he required so if he required only read only access or else if he required any read write or access or if he required read write or execute access so like that and uh, other other like mitigation is to use role based access control so these are these can be also like a, let's say uh, like a, in an office okay in an office or in a company they provide the role based access for some websites or some uh, internal applications like uh, the admin should have the entire access the users or the employees should have the limited access so like that so by using this role based access control also we can mitigate the broken access control then coming to the uh, another thing is perform server side check yeah this is also a good thing like we need to check the server side authorizations so let's say if this user uh, has the right to access to another user or not so here we can uh, check the at the server end we can check whether this user is authorized to view the other user account or not right so if it is an admin or a bank account uh, someone who is bank manager he can view that but this user should not be view uh, seeing the other users detail right so that is a server side checks for the authorization on every request then coming to another thing is re conduct regular access control testing during the security assessments so we need to also check the access control testing also so while performing the testing uh, like security testing or the quality testing we need to check the access control testing also whether right people have the right access to the or not or he is having some other privilege access also so that we need to check 